showing you how to get 5.50 Gen D3 on your PSP. And just in case you didn't know, it's a uh, it's the latest Gen custom firmware. And if you don't know what custom firmware is, you could just YouTube it or Google it or whatever. Cuz I'm not going to explain it in this video. Okay, so I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to make this video, and I'm sorry it's been taking me so long, but I've, I'm finally making it now, so I hope it helps you. Okay, so the first thing you want to do in the video description, there is a link, and click on that link, and then once you're there, click download. It'll take you to this page, and just go down to where it says download, and click it. And then once you're on this page, go down and click free download. And then type in that little code right there, and then wait, It'll you'll have to wait like one minute, and then click download file right there. And just save it to your desktop or anywhere where you can find it. And I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. Then once you're done, you can just exit off there. And then go to, uh, you're going to have this file right here. I renamed it to Gen D3. Yours is going to say something different, but I just renamed mine to Gen D3. But you're going to have something that looks like this. And you're going to either need WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract it. So right click it and click extract here. And you can WinRAR for free. Just go to download.com and type in WinRAR. Okay, so now that you right clicked and click extract here, uh, you can just set either put that, you could either put this file in the recycle bin or just set it off to the side. I'm just going to set it off to the side. Okay. So these are basically the two files you're going to need. You're going to need this PSP folder, and you're going to need this 500, 550.pbp file. And the others are just readmes and stuff. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is get your PSP and plug it into the computer with a USB cord. And then go to settings, and... Uh, Go to the home menu, scroll over to settings, and then select the one that says USB connection. And then once you do that, a little window will pop up, and you just click open folders to view files. But if that doesn't pop up, you could just go to my computer, and it'll be right somewhere right there. It'll say removable disk E or a letter. Okay, so now you're going to have all these files. So Here's the root of your memory stick, so just grab this 550.pbp file and just drag it in there. Drag it and drop it in. And it'll take like 10, 20 seconds. Just wait for it. Okay, so now you got the 550.pbp file in the root of your memory stick. Now open the PSP file. And then the game, no, yeah, the game file. And then open up uh, this PSP file that you downloaded. And then that game file. And then, let me zoom out again. Okay, so here's the update file. And you're going to drag it into your PSP in the PSP game folder. So now you can just exit off there. You can exit off your PSP. And a good thing to do is go to uh, safely remove hardware and just uh, click the, the the letter of the PSP. So there it is, and just click it. And now you could uh, get off USB mode on your PSP. Okay, so now that you got all that done, now I'm going to show you the rest of this. Okay, so once you're on your PSP, go to game and then go down to memory stick and then press X. Oops. X. <coughs> and at the very top, you should see 5.50 Gen D3. Just select it by pressing X. <coughs> <coughs> and 
And then it'll basically just tell you all the new features of 5.50 Gen D3. And if, you sh if you're sure you want to do this, then go ahead and select enter. And before you do this, make sure that your AC adapter is plugged in. As you can see, mine's not plugged in, but that's because uh, I mine's already fully charged. But if you want to make absolutely positively sure that your PSP isn't going to shut off, then uh, you want to plug in your AC adapter. And if this damages your PSP in any way, I am not responsible. So this is at your own risk. And uh, it should work, but I'm just giving you that warning, so you can't blame it on me. Okay, so just press enter. <clears throat> and then, let's see. Flash install. Okay, so what you want to do is at the very top where it says, Flash install CFW 5.50 Gen D3. You want to select that one right there. And then press X. And make sure it's the one at the very top. Okay, extracting PRX, other stuff. Okay, so now it's beginning to install. Um, this is, seems to be going pretty fast, but it'll still just take a minute. Okay, so it's almost done. And just wait for it to finish. Okay, it says done. And then it's gonna, you know, say all that other stuff. Flashing up flashing updater files and stuff like that. Okay, so now it says install is complete. Welcome inside the PSP Gen CFW world. A shutdown or a reboot is required. Uh I'm just gonna reboot it. You could shut it down by pressing O or reboot it by pressing X as it says right there. So I'm gonna press X to reboot. Okay, so now uh, your device is rebooted. Now you can go over to settings, uh, system settings, and then go to system information. And then as you can see right there, 5.50 Gen D3. So hope this works for all of you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, YouTubers. Bye.